Well, it's the super banana that could save the lives of hundreds of thousands of children in developing countries and they're being designed and grown in Queensland. Australian and African researchers are collaborating to genetically modify them into a rich and much needed source of vitamin A. Not your everyday Cavendish. This is probably our best line so far. This is a million dollar bunch of bananas. They've been spliced with a Papua New Guinean banana gene to create a highly nutritious superfood. As you can see, it's, a, it's just clearly yellower than a normal banana. Um, and you can see those orange specks in there where cortinoids have accumulated. The bananas in this test crop in far north Queensland have been genetically modified with keratin, which the human body converts to vitamin A. And it's hoped this technology can be used to save the lives of hundreds of thousands of malnourished children around the world. In Brisbane, researchers are refining the technique for their banana-hungry countries. The Ugandans consume, because on a daily basis they consume about one and a half kilograms a day. So we are talking of about uh, 400 to 600 kilograms a year. Bananas are the number one food crop for Ugandans, but their diet lacks a vital ingredient. A recent health survey has actually shown that up to 30% of Ugandan children are vitamin A deficiency. The Super Banana Project has received $10 million from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation to help reduce global hunger. Somewhere between 600,000 and 2 million children die every year of vitamin A deficiency. You know, a horrendous human toll. The bananas have successfully passed animal feeding tests with Mongolian gerbils. <laughs> I didn't know anything about Mongolian gerbils before we started this project. Now bunches have been sent to the US for the first human trials. The scientists dismiss talk they're creating some kind of frankenfood. We don't believe that there is any significant concern about these bananas. Test crops are already in the ground in Uganda. What touches me as a scientist and a researcher is to produce something which is um, tangible, which is uh, beneficial. Australian consumers won't get to try these bananas, but the research is already being applied to create genetically modified disease-free local varieties. Stefan Armbruster, SBS World News.